Hello and welcome to Orient Outreach, where we introduce you to nonprofits and the incredible things that they are doing right here locally in our community. Today, we're going to talk with Carol from Miracle Quilts, and you will be so impressed at what all these ladies are doing to help our veterans right here locally. Welcome, Carol, well, to the show. Thank you for inviting me. So you have so many things. It's so oh. impressive that all of you are doing. Um, but I want to take people back. Where did the name Miracle Quilts and the whole idea from this start? Okay. Uh, several, many years ago, I was in the doctor's office, and this lady gave me a flyer. And I looked at it, and it talked about she had packing parties for our troops that are currently serving overseas. And so many of the veterans do not get a letter or a package from home, nothing. And she locally, her name is Louise Downs Blaine, and she has packing parties where she brings the boxes and people bring in donations. And she packs these miracle boxes uh, in honor of Private First Class Joseph Miracle. Joe served in Afghanistan only 35 days. He was 22 when he was killed in action. Wow. So these boxes, every box, she puts a picture of him in. Um, they put prayer cards. And everything that she does is to honor the service and sacrifice of Joe Miracle. Wow. And I did that for several years, and I liked it. And one time she sent me a, a email from a kid, I want to call him a kid. He was 21. His name was Adam Levine from Louisiana. He ran over a bomb, and their Humvee was totally destroyed. He lost his sight and literally half of his face. Mm. And I couldn't stop thinking him. I get up in the morning, and that's the first thing I would think about. Well, I contacted his father and said I'd like to make a quilt for him. Because had you been quilting? Yeah, I've been quilting many years, okay. and I just know the comfort and the feeling you get when you get a quilt. And I just want him to know that somebody from up north is thinking about him. Yeah. And, well, I still went to the packing parties, and then I, I, I said to Louise, I'd like to start my own branch of quilting because I know um, women, if you start quilting, they will come and they will help you. Well, the biggest thing was trying to find a place to quilt. You need outlets, you need electricity and good light and tables. Well, um, at that time, she was assisting a veteran from the, that lived up at Independence Village, and she says, why don't you approach them, and maybe you could get the seniors involved. And that was uh, 10 years ago. Where you went to Independence Village, Village here in Oxford. In Oxford, and approached the activities director, and I said we could make it an activity for the seniors that live there. Yeah. And again, we can accommodate according to their ability. And um, I have been there 10 years. I cannot say enough about that organization and how supportive they have been throughout the year. The years, it's just been incredible. We literally take over this one room on the second Saturday of every month. Mm -hmm. Women wheel their sewing machines in, and <laughs> um, there's threads everywhere. We're, there's sewing machines going, and the seniors do come down. We we put a big table over by the window where there's very good light, and yeah. they most of them do the hand sewing. They like doing that, and a few of them even take some of the quilts up to their room during the week and they actually do hand sewing for me at night because they like to keep wow. busy. So, so you you meet there the second Saturday of every of month every month at Independence Village and just take over as a group of women to get together and quilt. Right. right. But not just quilting because there's many things mm -hmm. to do uh, as you and I have talked you know a couple times about there's many things whether it's cutting and pressing awesome. and if you're not a quilter there's still things, things that you do. need done, right? Right, and people do not have to be a sewer. I, I, but I have gotten people who have come in, they haven't sewed a stitch in their life, and they see what we've done, and then they go out and buy a sewing machine. I also get a lot of high schoolers toward the end of the year, they know they have to have their community service hours yeah. in. And I mean, they will come. I've had boys come and press. They set up the tables. 
Um, there's a lot of jobs that can be done that you don't necessarily have to be a sewer. And so you make all these quilts. How many quilts in a year do you think Miracle Quilts, your group, makes? We're averaging around 700 now. But I also. In one year? In one year. In one year. And um, they can be from lap size. We do a lot of lap size, especially for the old, older veterans that are confined to wheelchairs. We do twin size. We d and we take anything. People will make a quilt. Maybe they made it for a loved one and the loved one didn't like the colors. They, they said, they'll ask me, do you want this quilt? And we will take it. Wow. And I, I give them my word, whatever they've made will definitely go to a veteran or their family member. So these yeah. 700 quilts though mm -hmm. that you make, you have a beautiful show at Independence, Independence Village and it's coming up in a few months when it's warmer, but right. June 13th, correct? Correct. And what does that show entail? What is it free to the public to come? It's absolutely free to come in the door. Um, it's, it's more of a showcase to show people what, what's been going on all year long. And people, every month I might get 40 or 50 quilts in on, a sat, on one of those Saturdays. Well, sometimes people aren't there to see because we do a show and tell and people want to see what has come in, come in throughout the year. We also have a quilt raffle. Uh, the quilt this year is beautiful. It's very uh, summery spring quilt. Um, it was handmade by one of our members. Mm. And we also have a garage sale for sewers, quilters, and crafters. Um, and it's our biggest fundraiser of the year. Um, people don't realize these quilts, the cost of cotton has gone up like maybe 75%. Yeah, how much for you, you since you do 700 of them? How uh, much does one in average, one quilt cost? Uh, if you use quality fabric, I would say a twin size would be about $150. Wow. For the fabric, the batting is what goes in the middle of the sandwich and the backing. And it's, it's getting very pricey, but we are very economical. We don't throw anything away. So if we have leftover scraps, we use those in scrappy quilts. Wow, and yeah. all those quilts, those 700 quilts, quilts. Where do they go? Because I know you ship them all over the world. So where, where do all these go and how do they serve? Again, because it's a giving, it's a giving it, it, quilt. It is a giving quilt. Um, most of them go to Walter Reed National uh, Military Medical Center. Walter Reed used to be in Washington, D.C., but they now have moved everything over to Bethesda, Maryland. Mm. And uh, we, in fact, next week, I have a uh, SUV load going down. That car is going to be packed <laughs> to go. Um, we, we go to the Fisher Houses, and a lot of people, Americans, have not heard of the Fisher Houses, but they are built on the grounds of the Veterans um, Hospital, but they are not part of the government. Yeah, they're a completely but separate, separate housing for mm -hmm. like uh, if a veteran has maybe he can get out of the hospital but he still needs some, he or she still needs some type of treatment they will continue to um, get they can stay there some of them have stayed there for a couple years mm -hmm. and their family can actually come and and stay with them I have visited personally uh, about six of them I ship over to Lonstal, Germany, where there's one. Obviously, I haven't been there. And we are getting one in Ann Arbor, and it's supposed to open up in June of this year. Wow. So when you mm -hmm. when these quilts get delivered, mm -hmm. um, and I assume that you personally hand-delivered some of them, or how mm -hmm. is the reaction from these veterans to receive See, one of your quilts or one of your, your group's, group's quilts? Sorry. It's incredible to pass them out. Um, sometimes the veteran will cry. Why, why are you giving me this? And we just say, because we wanna say thank you for your service and your sacrifice, especially if they're in the hospital. Um, we do a lot of local veterans. I'm in the uh, auxiliary for the VFW 334, and I'm in close contact with the commander and the president of our auxiliary. If one of the local members, let's say he had a stroke or is 
is suffering from cancer, I will give them quilts and then they, when they go do their hospital visits, they will present one to a local veteran. We do the state of Michigan. Um, I have done um, Battle Creek. There's a wonderful veterans um, center there, hospital, and they give them, they have a drug and alcohol center there. So when the a veteran finishes or completes that program, they give him a quilt. Wow. I, I, I will go in, wow. there's a veterans home over in uh, Grand Rapids. Mm -hmm. It was established like 125 years ago. They love our quilts and they give them to the older veterans. Um, I go to Ann Arbor VA Hospital. It's one of my favorite days of the year. I have a wagon and I, I fill the wagon up and the chaplain and I go door to door and give the wow. quilts out. And it's it's a wonderful experience. I People say, how can you do it without crying? I don't cry then, but when I get in my car, it actually I, it, I it, it, it hits you. It's it's so wonderful to give them up out to the to the veterans and sometimes they'll say oh my mother used to make quilts or my um grandmother or whatever and it it means a lot and when they start they actually pet the quilts they don't realize it but that's the first thing they do is they start feeling the quilt or you put it around their shoulders and i tell them you can feel the warmth of that person that has made that quilt mm. um and you you do so many other things. So you mentioned you don't waste That's anything. It. No, we don't waste a thing. <laughs> Nothing. So other than quilts, even though the name is Miracle Quilts, quilts. I know your group does so many other things too yeah. to help the community, which truly, Carol, is it's a blessing. Yeah. I mean, you are a blessing. Um, so tell me about some of those other things that you do for the community as well and throughout the state. Right. We, um, again, I'm in the VFW and the White Lake VFW Post every year hosts a uh, Thanksgiving dinner for the Detroit Hopeless Veterans and they bring about 65 of the veterans out on a bus and they prepare this huge meal for them and at, at the end of the meal they allow me to pass out, we make ditty bags and a ditty bag is just maybe 16 by 16 with a drawstring. Mm -hmm. We Whatever we can come up with, we'll, we'll do fleece scarves, we've done hats, clean socks, um, the post will put in toothpaste and uh, toothbrushes, um, hand warmers. St. Joseph's School down here in Lake Orion, they have a, right after Halloween, the kids bring in their unwanted candy. It's yeah. all perfectly good candy. I will take two or three Xerox boxes of that and we put candy in those bags. And that then goes Who's back there? with the veteran? As they go home, back to back their play town. And I get to I get to hand them out, and it's such a humbling experience because here, to me, it's there's nothing spectacular in it, and they are so appreciative. Yeah. And then they also um, at that post, uh, I found the group called uh, Friends of the North Oakland County Veterans Court, mm. and these are our veterans that have been in jail. Most of them are on the younger side, and I presume most of them have gotten in trouble with drugs and alcohol. And there's a group of veterans there that mentor these guys. And at Christmas time, they actually sponsor a Christmas party for the, their children. And so we have taken, we make Christmas stockings, handmade Christmas stockings out of our fabric. We make quilts, we've taken scarves and hats. Wow. And it's so neat to see the kids actually come in and they'll try the quilts on to see if that's the one that they want. <laughs> um, so we do support them and um, they support Miracle Quilts in other ways too. Wow, so, wow is not yeah. even, I think, enough yeah. of, of the word, but how do, you, how do you keep all of this sustained and, and mm -hmm. funding to make all these beautiful, beautiful things happen? Well, funding, we hope people will come to our quilt show and shop the garage sale, and we have a craft sale. Those are my two biggest fundraisers on June of the 13th. 18th. Um, we don't have any big corporate sponsors, so anything like this where we can raise some money in our, our quilt raffle, 100% of that money goes into my account, and that 
is only used for the supplies in the upcoming year. And I am a very good shopper. I shop sales and I, now I can shop some wholesale because Miracle Quilts is a 501c3. So, but even at wholesale prices, things are expensive. Sure. And, um, but we are very good. I get a lot of donations. If people want, sometimes people want hear about us and they'd like to donate, they yeah. can donate a, a Joann's card or they can even go to Joann's and pick out the patriotic fabric and buy a few yards and call me up and donate it. And, and if someone wanted to um, come to the group on the second Saturday of the month at okay. Independence Village, do they just come? Do they need to sign up or is it something they can just show they, up and enjoy? They can just show up and enjoy. We do have a few sewing machines there available. Um, sometimes people have larger machines and they can't possibly carry them in. Yeah. So we have all kinds of equipment. Um, they, I suggest they come around 10 o'clock. We show them where the coffee pot is and the goodies <laughs> and where the bathroom is. And then around 10.30, I do my news announcements. I tell them where uh, the quilt, you know, what quilts have been given out this month. Um, and then we do show and tell people whatever they've done that month and have completed. We we all una and um, and again it can be like a veterans quilt of a quilt for a man. I would say most of the quilts that come in maybe ninety percent are for men mm -hmm. because that's what you see in the hospital. But yeah. now we are also supporting the pediatric ward at Walter Reed. Every month we send about 50 pillowcases down for the children in the ward or that are getting treatment. Mm -hmm. Like this month we sent Valentine. This next month we'll be getting ready for Easter and spring. And we also do um, Marvel and co comic books, anything that a yeah. child would like. Just a fun pillowcase. Um, and then at Christmas we started something new instead of exchanging gifts with each other, we decided to do pocket pillows. And a pocket pillow is we just make a pillow about 16 by 16, yeah. we sew a handle on, and on the side we put a pocket. And then we actually put a book in, in the pocket. And it was our first shipment down there and they called me, I, they just raved about these pocket pillows. And I tell people, you don't have to go out and spend $15 on a book. You can go to a discount place, the yeah. dollar store, or Ollie's, and put, you know, even crayons in a coloring book or a joke book. So I've been busy, and since Christmas, we've made close to 125 new ones. And they will be going wow. next week to Walter Reed. Um, I don't think they realize what's coming, because I have someone going <laughs> down, and their car is just going to be jammed. Packed. Carol, there is not enough words, words of uh, gratitude to give to you, you and your whole group. The group, there's so many people behind group. that work hours behind the scenes, cutting and organizing and helping me get things ready. Because if they do come to Miracle Quilts, we do have kits available. They don't have to go out and spend money on kits. We show them how to do it. We go through the steps, and when the, we also have a finished sample. So and they, then that goes back are, to a veteran. Everything goes back to a veteran mm -hmm. or their family that we do. Everything. Well, June 13th, June 13th at Independence Village. Yes. It's free for everybody to come. A, a great family event to see Absolutely. all of your, I should say, your whole group's Group. hard work. You meet some of the volunteers that work there oh, all year long. Keep up the incredible work. There, I, I can't even... I can't even imagine uh, the vision and seeing it all oh. and, and seeing that reaction on a veteran's face when you present thank any you. of these amazing projects that you do. Keep up the great work. Thank you. And your whole group. Well, thank you. <laughs> Appreciate it. Remember, June 13th at Independence Village, you can see these amazing quilts that Miracle Quilts is doing. Remember, if you take care of your community, your community will take care of you. We'll see you next time.